In this video, we are going to calculate same store sales or comps or like for like growth in Microsoft Excel. This is useful for measuring the performance of a retail business when there are new stores that have not traded for the same period last year. The basic formula for LFR growth is sales for this year for that particular period we are measuring, for example a full year, minus sales from last year for the same period and then divide the result over sales from last year and multiply the result by 100 to get the percentage. If you are calculating this in Excel, you can simply click on the percentage button. So to start off, get your data from the system for sales of this year and last year for each store. Then create a column for growth and another column for like for like. Now to calculate growth, we are going to apply the same formula we've just mentioned. This year minus last year then divide by last year and get the percentage. You are going to do the same for all the stores that traded in both years. Because the new store didn't trade last year, there will be no growth at store level but it's going to be included in the growth of the total business. To get the growth for the total business, you simply add all the sales for last year to get the total last year and the same for this year. Then you apply the same formula for growth. So now we have a total growth of 23.5%. However, if you want to get the growth on a like-for-like -like basis, the number would be different because one of the stores was not trading last year. Here's how to calculate LFL growth or same store sales. The formula is the same for growth, so at store level, you will get the same result. The difference will be at business level. So you'll get the sum of the stores that traded this year and last year and exclude any stores that did not trade for both years. In this case, it's store number five. Then minus the sum of store sales of last year for the same stores. Then divide by last year sales for the same stores and then get the percentage. So as you can see, the business has actually degrown by 2.6% because some of the old stores have seen a significant degrowth, such as store number 4, which has degrown by 19.7%. This degrowth could potentially be because of the opening of the new store, store number 5. For example, they could be in the same area and so the new store is cannibalizing the old one. And this is why calculating growth and LFL growth separately is important because it shows the bigger picture. So let's say store number 5 actually traded last year, but only for 2 or 3 months. Let's say it opened in October and traded October, November and December. In this case, we calculate the growth for this store, but not the LFL growth. Because the period we are calculating here is for a full year, so it's not going to be like for like. So as you can see, it will show a growth of 199% because this year it traded for full 12 months while last year it traded only for three months. But we will not be calculating LFL growth for this particular store. 